Hi there. How are you? I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Oh, that's a good question. During the shooting, what was the most unforgettable thing for me? I... We went to some really beautiful locations on the shoot, and there's a scene in particular where I'm sitting at the base of a tree and an anola's in the tree. And for me, being out in the English countryside, I absolutely love it. And being there, shooting a period film was was one of the reasons, you know, one of the dreams about getting into the film industry. It's, uh, I, got to, I got to make a period film in a beautiful country estate in the UK, and uh, I felt very lucky doing that. Uh, funny stories, I think Millie's got all the good funny stories. Uh, she would often be trying to get me to do all kinds of uh, videos for social media, and, um, and uh, I would obviously always decline. Uh, and uh, she would then talk to me about reality TV shows and stuff all morning and hair and makeup. But uh, Millie's, Millie's got all the good stories for you. If I have to stay hidden from my brothers, I must become something unexpected. Oh, I don't know. I think that's a matter of opinion, really. <laughs> um, different strokes for different folks and all that. Uh, I, uh, it's obviously very nice. Thank you very much to those people. I appreciate it. Who's the most sexy Sherlock for me? Ah, oh, I mean, I've, I've met Benedict Cumberbatch and, and he's a very sexy man. He's very charming, so I'm gonna have to go with Benedict. In two or three words, genius, eccentric. What would be, I'm gonna go genius and eccentric. And genius, obviously, because his mind is completely different from anyone else's and he can see things that others wouldn't even dream of seeing and then put all that information together in such an extraordinary way that is what makes him the genius. And eccentric because he does think outside the box and he exists within society but at the same time very much outside it because he doesn't follow the same rules. My favorite part of this story I think the relationship between Enola and her mother is, is beautiful and extraordinary. And also the relationship between Enola and Sherlock. I think there's something special there. And uh, it, it really gave me the feel-good feels when I watched the movie. Yes, Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective. My genius brother is afoot. Ah. She's safe. She's our company. Um, any behind the scenes stories, as I say, I think, I think Millie's probably the best one for that. Um, I, as a supporting role, I wasn't there, I wasn't there a huge amount, but it was, um, it was enormous fun hanging out with Millie. She's, she's a hoot. Her and Sam, Sam's hilarious, by the way. Uh, just hanging out as, as a trio, I, we were laughing pretty hard all day long. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat, just makes my head itch. And I have no gloves. My God. A wild woman brought up a wild child. One reason to watch this movie, or a number of reasons to watch this movie. One, because it's a fantastic movie. Harry Bradbeer has done an enormously good job constructing this movie, telling the story and putting it together. And Enola, played by Millie, is absolutely fantastic. So much charisma. But more importantly, there's a really good message to this movie. Aside from the fact that it makes you feel good, and it's, it's definitely a feel-good movie, there's an important message about equality and about changing roles and uh, evolution of society. And I think that's very, very important. Most well-bred ladies. I was never taught to embroider. I was taught to watch. Perhaps she wants to change the world. Perhaps it's a world that needs changing. Um, if I could be Sherlock in real life, uh, I guess I would um, stick to what I'm good at and try and solve some crimes. I mean, Sherlock's a private detective, so I would definitely try and I would important crimes, but also being a private detective, probably the ones that pay well as well and the ones that keep me interested. So if I was Sherlock, then I wouldn't necessarily be stimulated by simple crimes, so it'd have to be very 
complex and intriguing crimes.